of Tucson Foothills Properties. I'm in Gated La Paloma in the middle of the Catalina Foothills. It's a resort community. I'm looking north towards the Catalina Mountains. I will pan and give you a street view. As you can see, there is no cars, are no cars parking on the apron. So all cars have to be in the garage, garage door down, unless coming or going, or in one of the visitor parking spaces on a temporary basis. This is a vacation rental. It is fully furnished and we're walking up to the front door. It is a gated courtyard entry. We'll go in, we'll walk through, and while we're here, before we go inside, we'll walk to the backyard and take a look. It's low care, low maintenance. Landscaping is included. So you don't have to worry about that. Looks like we have a little fountain here. It's not on. May not even be filled with water today. I'm not sure of that. There's a fountain there. That may be a fountain as well, but I'm not sure. But that is a grapefruit tree. So if you get here this winter, you should be able to have grapefruit here. You can see it couple of tables put together so that six people can be here comfortably, two comfortable chairs. The barbecue grill is over there. There's another small fruit tree growing. A uh, third looks like a third fruit tree there. I'm not sure what it is. It's a very private rear yard. This is a wonderful looking chair. So we'll walk back towards the front of the house. The screen door has closed. So I'll open it. We're entering into the entry area. What we have is a two bedroom and den property, home. There is um, a hide a bed, sleep sofa in the den. You can tell from the artwork on the wall that this is owned by an artist. And um, lots and lots of interesting artwork here and throughout. Large L-shaped sofa. Move over here. Wonderful wall hanging. Oh, I love that one. There's the TV or the living room, great room. Here's a slate table. Very interesting chairs. There's the rear yard we were just in. The break front. We'll walk into the kitchen. This is a table with two more chairs that go to the set, so you can move them in. Tables chairs in here from the dining room area if you wanted. Here we're looking at the kitchen, fully outfitted. In fact, the owner uses it a couple times a year. While we're at this end of the house, we'll take a left. And we're looking at this wall hanging from the front door. Interesting light. There is the washer dryer. Turn right here into the master suite. A modern poster bed. While I'm here, I'll turn, I'll walk across the way. I'll turn so that you can see the bedroom from another angle. Closets, his and hers closets, hers and hers. Big master bath, lots of counter space, two sinks, separate shower and tub or tub and shower. It's a garden tub. Walk back out.
This is the den. That is a sleep sofa, a leather sofa. There's the modem. This is a extra another TV. There's a printer. Looks like a multifunction machine. Could be set up as a little office if you wanted to put your computer in there. Here's the hall bath. We'll take a look at the second bedroom, the guest bedroom. That's a queen bed. Good closet. Very lovely, comfortable property in La Paloma. We'll go in and look at the garage. We'll go all the way in. I don't think it's necessary. You can get a good view of it from there. Back out into the great room, living room, dining room, and then we'll exit the property. This is our vacation rental in La Paloma, or one of our vacation rentals in La Paloma.